Good evening everybody. I would like to create a short video on how to create this room. This is based on our first day training where we will create a manager's room from the very basic in Dialux Evo. And we will not import any drawing or any CAD file, but we will do it in all from Dialux Evo. So let's start and doing it. So I open now my Dialux Evo software. And then we will go for outdoor and building planning. This is a very short video just for your recap on how we did it because the video that we have in our training is very blurry and my voice is also not clear so I decided to create this one. So this is now the, the screen of uh, Dialux Evo and uh, we will create our room based on these helplines. I hope you will uh, search for this tab and see all the uh, options for every tab from the horizontal to the vertical here. For example, in the construction, you will have lots of options here. And for light, another here. Calculations, objects, and for the export and manufacture. So let's go and do it now. So um, we started with this helplines and labeling. I told you to create a room with 4 by 5. So we will use this draw reference line to create that one. Just click that one and then put a line or uh, drag your mouse to downward and then say 5 meters and you will see that the 5 meters will have 0 and make it 1. Okay, so zoom out or zoom extend and you will have your 5 meters. Then on the other side, create one line again and say this is 4 meters and then say 1 again. If I create 2 or 3, for example, you will see that I created three lines here. So uh, since I want to create one line only, because so we will create our room, then just put one. So this is now our room for a four by five manager's office. Okay, just drag it there. Also the other one. Okay, so now we have our four by five room. So from here, we will go to our first tab, which is the side tab. And then we will create our land or soil where the building will be built. So let's go and select this rectangular floor element. Just place it where outside these um, reference lines. And then if you go to the 3D view, you will see now that you have your land. If you have site plan, you can follow that site plan. But for now, let's just make it a square lot area. And then after you establish your land, go to the plan view again and establish your building by clicking this draw new building. So click this one and then click in every point of your reference line. And then close polygon. Right click and close polygon. If you want to know the thickness of your wall, you can again use this one and establish another reference line. But in our training, I did not ask you to do that because I just told you to just create a wall. But for this one, I want to make it proper. So let's go establish a new line. And sometimes the thickness of the wall is 0.10 or 0.15. It depends. If it's exterior wall, then it's usually 0.15 or 0.10 meters or 15 centi and 20 centi. So let's just use make uh, let's just use a point uh, 15 meters here or 15 centi and then make it negative to go back to that interior line. So if you put negative here it will go to the other side. And then another draw another reference line here. And again say point 15 and then put one. And then another one here. Let's imagine that this side is now on the interior side, so 0 0.10. Then make it 1. And on the other side, let's do it as interior side. So 0 0.1 and then 1 piece. So let's make it negative so it will go to the inside of the line. So let's imagine that these two sides are the exterior wall and these two sides are the interior walls. So after you establish your thickness of the wall, 
let's go now and select this third tab this is now your new uh, this is now this is going to be your uh, interior wall so let's click this new in uh, draw new indoor contour and then click to every point then click here and then right click to close the polygon if you made a mistake and you want to arrange this one press escape to remove your command and then again click this one so you can adjust your um, wall points properly okay every time you want to remove your command just press escape okay now zoom extend now you will see now that you have your room and then I told you to just use the story height to 2.8 this is a default from the dialogs Evo so because our objective is to create a room like this so we need to put lights furnitures calculation surfaces then render and then create a wall like this so okay now that we establish now our room so if you go to the side tab you will see that you will have your um, lat, lat area and also the building and if you go to the building uh, building tab you will, you will only see the building so without land and if you go to the story you can rotate your room or your building and you can see your top view open and if you go to the room you will have three views open either from the floor ceiling or to the to the to all sides of the walls let's go back to the plan view and make sure you are in the story tab because we will now put our objects so if you put if you want to place your objects go to the object tab here if you scroll your mouse you will see the, the meaning of these tabs or the names of the tabs and from there you will see that it is furniture and objects click that one and then press select and then if you select uh, press select you will have a lot of options here here I, I saved a lot of objects from my previous projects and if you want to for example you have your uh, favorite object you can right click on that object tab and then say favorite so it will go to your favorite tabs see I have four favorite objects here and if you have your folders which has different 3d objects you can also upload it here so every time you need it, it it's easy for you to access it so our objective is to create a room with a table stand uh, luminaire chairs and also these um, cabinets at the back of the manager's office so let's go and select that tables and chairs so right now I selected the table so once you selected it here okay so let's go back to the catalogs in case you don't have it in your favorite let's go back to the catalogs this catalog tab and then press as double click the object tab and go to the office furniture click down the arrow and then you will have a selections of tables chairs and you will also have the auxil auxiliary aids and if you want to go back just click the upper tab here and then some workbenches so let's select now the tables and find our favorite table for the manager which is um, this one and then say apply make sure you click the apply once you click the apply the the, the, the object will go to this tab and to this now it's ready for use so just um, click this place individual object and then click on your room go to the 3d and now you will have your uh, managers table so go back to the plan view and then rotate it and then move you may scale also your table for example so right uh, right click and then click the scale and then if you want to make it a little wider you can also do that then another one right click again to move it so go to the 3d and see if you are satisfied or happy with the result now let's go back to the plan view and then go and select our chair actually this tab it will be just minimized 
so it will be in your lower tab and then just click it and it will goes back to your selection so let's go now and select the chair click the chair tab chair option and then you will select for example this um, swivel chair number three and then click apply and now it's ready to use place and then click it here go to the 3d and see how it will rotate scroll your mouse to rotate your view and then go to the, to the plan view again and then right click on your object and then say rotate so it will be like this okay all right so, so the manager's table should have uh, chairs here in front of him so let's go back to the object and select another chair for front table so I will select this one the cantilever chair and then click apply now it's ready for use so I will use this draw line arrangement if I click this one in one shot I can just place um, objects in one shot with different numbers so this one the default is always three then I can just change it here by two then I can move it here like this and then you can um, edit this one or rotate this one individually so for example I want to rotate it either I will do it here like this or I will do it manually here just select one chair and then right click and rotate and then select again and move a little to the, ta uh, to the table and now you will have your chairs and table so let's review now we have chairs and table now let's go and select again a sofa and a side table or a coffee table so let's go back to our dialogs go back to our object collections and then go to the objects and maybe it's in the home furniture so uh, select uh, click the arrow and go to the up for uh, a furniture and then select a sofa similar to that one I think that one if I'm not mistaken is is one two three so it's a three sofa LC two three height and then apply and now it's ready to use here go to the plan view and then place it and then rotate and then right click and move it to the corner go to the 3d view again and see if it's okay now it looks good go to the plan view again and let's select our side table or coffee table so click the table tab and select the table that you want I prefer to use this um, let's say this Barcelona low table click apply and then again place individual object tab and then click on your screen so it's a little bigger so let's adjust the size of this Barcelona into let's say 0.6 by 0.6 you can type it or you can adjust it here by right click and then scale so if you have a if you want a precise dimension you can place it here so let's go and check in the 3d and then it looks perfect let's make it a little more lower let's say 0.4 there you go say so save it and now we have our complete furniture but wait we need one more here a cabinet behind the manager's chair so let's go back to the plan view and select this furniture it is from office furniture and I think it's from the auxiliary aids and storage and go and select the that is a sliding door okay this one and then click apply and then place it here so either I will do it in draw line arrangement like this so I will have three already or individual so if I select the line arrangement I can rotate it like this see in your 3d so it will become like that to review yeah it's a continuous one so let's go back and arrange this one properly remove the individual by selecting it and press delete and then click this one right click and then move please select the corner so you can easily grab it 
and then select one move it also and because this middle one is a little big so we can scale this um, cabinets into size of one meter let's make it 1.2 then move it here this one again 1.2 I'm changing the length of the cabinets now and this one is also 1.2 if it's not okay because there's a gap just right click on this one and say scale and then move it like that let's go to the 3d and see and now it looks perfect go to the to the room so you can see all the views yeah it looks good and let's review so the cabinet has brown color also so let's change this one similar to the chairs or the sofa so I'll go to the materials press the materials tab then select this one pick material because you want to copy the material available now in your 3d so I'll pick material click this one and then just drag and drop so you have the same color for your tables and cabinets